What is up guys, it's Midwest Raider coming at you with another video for my channel. So the other day I made a video on controllers $150 or less for beginners and for you know established DJs that wanted to travel with a controller. And so one of those controllers that I had in there was the DJ controller Instinct from Hercules. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had that a uh, video of a review and opinions video on the item that way you, you guys can look back and check it out if you guys are interested in that particular uh, model which is the DJ control instinct from Hercules so let's go ahead and jump into it guys uh, and make you a quick video with my opinions and overview on this controller which I do like guys it is an older controller but it still works pretty good and it has a lot of functionality for a little controller so let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. This is the Hercules Controller Instinct S model from Hercules. Um, this is like a 2015 model. The original was all black with kind of red uh, lights on it, which came out in 2011. Uh, very, very cool one. Um, and um, the there was also a P8 model that came out in 2016, which basically just updated with the black look again but it kind of made like a uh, very very colorful uh, look to it with the, like some uh, uh, different kind of graphics on it uh, more party like um, so but basically all the same features stayed on it now this is a very very cool controller very sturdy um, uh, looks very nice if you can see it here there you go now I picked this up for uh, around uh, $60 between $50 and $60, which is a very, very good deal because you actually can't find these uh, usually that cheap. They're Whoever has them, they're definitely holding on to them. Um, but you can find newer ones between, you know, you're gonna find them between 80 and you know, maybe 129. I've even seen some for 149 for the like the new model, which is the that P8 model. Um, but very very good functionality I got this one because it was a little bit more beat up so I actually had to kind of service it and you know oil up all the, the crossfaders and the the um, jog wheels and give it a good a really good cleaning um, so mine uh, definitely was beat up a little bit but this is a very very good controller because it has full functionality through all the software um, that it comes with uh, which is that dejuiced dejuiced software from Hercules plug and play uh, download that software it's free and you'll be able to just plug this in and it'll read it and it'll be ready to go so very very cool uh, this like I said it does have full functionality uh, with a headphone jack here 3.5 millimeter jack um, on the back also RCA's so that's very very cool and then uh, it has a hardwired uh, USB cable so you won't lose it because it's hardwired into the machine uh, into the controller so you just always have it you won't lose it which is the way I take it is a positive to me some people might not like that because they like to keep the cable separate or whatever but you know I like it just hardwired in and I know I'll never lose it um, so like I said I had to kind of grease mine up a little bit and get it uh, oiled up and, and working a little bit better my uh, up faders are still a little bit stiff you can kind of hear that uh, but I did buy some um, electronic lubrication spray and I'll, I'll get those better. Uh, the uh, crossfader sounded the same way and now the crossfader is back to normal. So very, very cool stuff. Um, anyways, um, so pretty basic uh, controller uh, size wise, but it has a lot of functionality within it. Um, so uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty small, uh, but it's like, like I said, full featured, which is really cool. So you have play, pause, you, uh, your cue, uh, cross faders, up faders, like I said, for each channel, headphone buttons for each side, uh, load A and B, which is very, very cool because that's my favorite part of this controller, full functionality with the browser. So you can go up and down through your files on the controller, and then you can go to your side uh, track, and you can also go into the file songs um, by you know hitting over, and then you can load them as well on each channel. So very, very cool, probably my favorite part of this controller. Now up on top you have a vinyl mode and a, uh, a vinyl button so you can either make these scratch or you can make them or scratch or you can make them uh, you know you can go through the song faster so I can like rewind fast forward very very cool 
And then you have your mode buttons, which can go through your full functionalities of hot cues, loops, effects, and samples. So you have all that except uh, capability. You have treble, mid, and bass knobs, so you can adjust all that, your mids, your highs, and your bass. You can adjust all that, fully functional. And then you have a patch knob here, which is kind of uh, weird, because it's like a toggle button, which is a little bit weird. I'm used to up faders, but you will get used to it if you use it a little bit. So that's very, very cool. Uh, it does have kind of a, a metal look, uh, metal covered look. I don't think this is true metal. I think it's plastic with like a metal cover over it. And then, you know, plastic design on the side, but very, very sturdy, nice rubber feet on the bottom guys. Um, but very, very sturdy controller, like I said, and it does have your instinct on the sides. And like I said, it works very, very good from controller to software. So, um, you know, uh, play each song, got volumes. Crossfader works good. Um, so, and then the browser feature is probably, like I said, my favorite part of this controller and full accessibility to go to your side list. Uh, if you can see, I'm over here, I'm going through my songs. Now, if I wanted to bounce to a different, completely different file, I can go to my side list and then go through those over on my side list here. And it's changing my side lists and then go back to the files. Um, let's go. There we go. And then I can go back into my side list there and go through my music. So very, very, very cool. And then, like I said, I can load a different song. If I wanted to load a different song, I'll load that song up in there and it loaded it up on top. So very, very cool. Probably my favorite feature on that. Now, the uh, this I have right now, if there's no lights up here, on, it'll light up each effect. So you it'll light up red, green, and then I think your samples is white. Let's go. Yeah, no, your samples are green, loops red, and effects are blue. And if nothing is on, then you're uh, on your hot cues. Um, and then when you go to your loops, one and two will set a loop, and then three and four will make the loop smaller or larger. So you can do pretty cool mixing with that. Um, so take this, we'll, we'll set a loop here on the top. Uh, let's see, I'm on this track here. There we go, set a loop. You can kind of do cool effects. Now that wasn't a very good example, but you can do cool effects with it. Um, I'm just trying to do some quick stuff real fast here, uh, but not a good example, but you can like shorten it and then you can lengthen it too uh, with the three and four buttons. And then your effects, you can start your effects. Um, it'll start, you can have up to three effects at the same time, which is very cool. And then your four button will shut all those off. Or, you know, if you only have two, it'll shut two off or one off. However, you got it set up. Then on your sample modes, you can play your samples from the controller, but you'll have to shut them off from the laptop. I haven't quite found the right button to shut them off. Uh, once you get the samples going, uh, if I find that, I'll let you guys know. But uh, um, that's how that works. You also have volumes for your headphones on there on the top here. Uh, and like I said, you have your headphones to whatever channel you want. Uh, so if you hit the blue there, you should be listening to the left. You turn them off, you get full sound, and then you can hit the buttons for whatever you want in between all that. So very, very cool, guys. Like I said, headphone jack in the front, 3.5 in the back for output, and so same with RCA. You also have to plug it into the laptop with that USB. So very, very cool controller, guys. Like I said, I love the size of this. This is my favorite uh, little controller. Very travel, can throw it in a backpack. Um, so very travel friendly and like I said, very sturdy at the same time. Um, 
and it works very good with the deduced software but it also works with tractor uh, which is one of the reasons I got it you have to do some um, not mapping but you'll have to find some mapping packs and then load them into tractor and you'll be able to use this which is very very cool and it also works with a virtual DJ if you have the full uh, license packs for that and I'm not 100% that it works with Serato but um, I'm sure you can find a mapping pack for that as well so a uh, very very cool little controller and as long as you have the full uh, uh, licensing packs for this item you should be able to use it with a lot of different uh, software uh, other than that guys I think that's about it like I said you can probably find it on an eBay deal for around $50 the original model find the S probably in between that 50 to 100 and then if you're looking for that new P8 you might have to pay a little extra for that it could be close to $150 so still a very good controller guys and I do like it one of my favorite little new controllers that I like to mess with but definitely capable to go I you could definitely go gig with this like with a, my I wouldn't use it with the dejuiced software I'm not saying you can't uh, but I'm just saying if I were to, I could use this with Tractor or I could use this with Virtual DJ and it would work very, very good and I could actually go perform with it because it, it has that much fully functional uh, with the browser and the looping and everything, uh, the be able to cut bass, you know, you could mix with it. You could pretty much do everything with this and it would be very portable to go ahead and go and gig with. So uh, very, very cool. Uh, little controller so I think that's about it guys I wanted to bring you this uh, quick overview I don't want to make these videos too long just a quick overview on the item just so you guys can get a little bit more information uh, with these items so this is the Hercules uh, Instinct S model and uh, DJ Control Instinct S model from Hercules I hope you liked my review I hope you guys will subscribe follow share trying to build my channel, trying to bring you good reviews, trying to bring you honest reviews and just tell you what I think of them and how they can help you become a better DJ. Uh, also, not only is this good for beginners because it comes with the software, uh, you download that software, it'll be plug and play and you'll be able to start learning how to be a DJ. You also uh, will just, if you just wanna be a hobby DJ and you just wanna have some fun with it, this is a great beginner controller to have some fun with. If you're an established DJ, guys, this is a fully functional uh, DJ controller that you could use for some mini gigs that you guys are doing. Very portable, easy to set up, hook it up to a laptop, hook it up to some speakers, boom, you're ready to go. So very, very cool uh, and nice to have in my arsenal. So thank you guys so much, Midwest Raider. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and let's build my channel up, guys, and we'll talk to you guys later.